morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. I'm going to talk about something that I took away from the marriage retreat. I think, uh, you know, Peter just explained that they were talking a lot about legacy. Uh, and so there were various people that went up and shared, you know, the legacy that their family passed down to them and then what they were able to pass down to their kids. Uh, and, you know, Jesse and I don't have kids and I don't know if we will. Maybe we will, maybe we won't. But I think there was still, it was still very applicable in, in either case. Um, and just thinking, you know, it had me reflecting back on just being grateful for, for God and for his kingdom. Um, just looking at my own, uh, you know, looking at my own family and maybe the examples of uh, marriages or things that have been passed down to me. My, my parents uh, were divorced when I was young. Um, my mom has been divorced twice. Both of my brothers have been divorced. It was kind of, that is, you know, it was not exactly the legacy that I'm hoping for in my, you know, in my marriage with Jesse. I mean, I think in her family, her parents were together, but it was still not necessarily the, the legacy of, of what we wanted our, our marriage to be. And so, you know, I'm grateful for being in the kingdom and having kind of a, a legacy that I think has been passed down to to us from God or a legacy set by Christ that we can look forward to either you know bestowing upon our children or even just the people that we we come across in our lives it can be an example you know we can live a life that can be an example to our families or to our friends um, in their in their marriages or just in in their life or, or their interactions with, with other people um, so I was thinking, uh, you know, they, they shared about, um, you know, the, the two become one scripture <laughs> in Mark 10. And I was just thinking how much easier it is in a marriage for, for two, you know, individuals that bring our own things to the pile to become one when we have the same goal in mind. When we're both trying to become more like Christ, it makes it so much easier <laughs> to be one and, and bringing our own hopes, our own goals and, and our own issues. Mm -hmm. If we're both kind of trying to become more and more like Jesus daily, then it's so much easier for us to just be on the same page. We want the same things. You know, if we have kids, we want the same things for our family, for our friends, mm -hmm. to be able to, to know Jesus and to be able to get brought into uh, his perfect family. Mm -hmm. I think, you know, no matter, you know, just I've been thinking a lot about you know our church and, and wanting to to see uh, to see it grow kind of in the coming years and just thinking, you know it can be sometimes discouraging when you have a small group but then I'm, I'm also thinking like people need what we have <laughs> and so I feel like it was a great reflection of you know there are so many people out there in you know in Vermont and our neighborhoods that came from you know, broken families or have had a lot of issues in, yeah. and maybe their physical families, but that we, we, ha we have, we're able to <laughs> offer them the, the family of God. And that, that, that is kind of the, the legacy of, of Jesus. It, it was that legacy of no matter what family you may have been a part of before, you have a place in God's kind of perfect family. Mm -hmm. um, that, you know, in, in Matthew 7, it says, you know, even though you're evil, you, you know how to give good gifts to your children. How much more will your Father in heaven give you know, good gifts to those who ask him? Right. You know, we have a Father who cares about us, who wants to give us good things. Um, I'm going to read quick in Colossians 1. was, I think, the first scripture that uh, Ruby and Chip had shared in the first lesson. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to read verses like 3 to 6. It says, we always thank God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, when we pray for you, because we have heard of your faith in Christ Jesus and the love you have for all God's people, the faith and love that spring from the hope stored up for you in heaven and about which you have already heard in the true message of the gospel, that it has come to you in the same way the gospel is bearing fruit and growing throughout the whole world, just as it has been doing among you since the day you heard it and truly understood God's grace. And I think, you know, a lot of what they talked about were those things that are talked about here, faith, you know, hope, and love. Mm -hmm. And that in God's kingdom, you know, we have 
the faith and we have love that come from the hope that we have in heaven that and and that that hope bears is bearing fruit throughout the whole world not just in people's lives in vermont but, but all across the globe there are people who are living out that that faith and that love because of the hope of of the cross because of the hope of jesus and that's truly you know the message that we have to bring to to those around us that that, that is a legacy that we can can leave in our lives that legacy of, of faith of hope and of love and i think that's ultimately you know this being the time of communion that's ultimately the legacy of jesus that we're just trying to to push forward a, as best we can i think uh, i want to flip to first corinthians 13 uh, you know it definitely covers all of those things as well i'm not going to read the whole thing but just kind of the the middle section i'm going to start in verse four where it says love is patient love is kind it does not envy <laughs> It does not boast, it is not proud, it does not dishonor others, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, and always perseveres. And I think these are the things that I want for uh, my marriage with Jesse. These are the things that I want mm -hmm. to be to you know, my coworkers, to the people, to our neighbors, to my family, and that ultimately, you know, the, the cross is the reason that, you know, that was the ultimate example of always pr protecting, always persevering. It gives us, you know, the hope that we have to, to be with God in heaven. It's the reason that we don't have to worry about God keeping a record of our wrongs. You know, the, the cross was that love that, that wipes that out. You know, God doesn't keep that record against us. Um, you know, Jesus was the ultimate example of patience and of not, you know, self-seeking, but, you know, just the, the idea that just the hope that we would reach out to him, you know, was enough for him to, to go through, through that pain and through that experience, just the hope that we would one day uh, love him and become part of his family. And I think it's that uh, message that I want to emulate in my marriage and, and in my Life. And then I ultimately want the, the legacy to be that, you know, when I die and there's people sharing at my funeral, those are the things that I would want them to, to share about me and, and to be able to uh, have as that legacy. Yeah. Let's take time to bow our heads and thank God. Uh, dear God, thank you for Jesus, God. Thank you for the, the ultimate example of, of sacrifice, God, that he got up early every day, God, that he... Uh, you know, just made a, made a difference in people's lives, God, whether it was healing to them, preaching the word to them, listening to them. You know, he really uh, left that purpose, that perfect legacy uh, of love, that he provided that hope uh, and that faith to so many people, God, that, that he was able to bring into your perfect family, God. Uh, you know, there's, there's so many people in this world that have been hurt by, by family and have a hard time having that that trust or are viewing love in this way, God, but that, uh, you know, you are the perfect example of the, the perfect father, God, and that, that the cross is the ultimate demonstration of love mm -hmm. uh, and that gives us the, the key to, to being a part of your family, God, the, the perfect family. And I pray that you can just help us realize that there are so many people who, who are lost and need that, God, need what we have. Mm -hmm. uh, and I pray that we can each be able to uh, leave a, a legacy uh, where, where we are becoming more and more uh, like Jesus every day. Mm -hmm. Just thank you for your body on the cross uh, and the blood that you spilled to, to wipe clean uh, our record of wrongs. Uh, it's your son, Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen.